hundreds of friends and family are just arriving here at the Old College Parade Square. After 44 weeks of intense training, a sixth of recruits don't make the grade. So if your son, daughter, brother or sister are here passing out today, it's a very special occasion indeed. Anyone who's an officer in the British Army will know exactly what this is. A sovereign parade and it takes place three times a year. 670 cadets march onto the parade square. Today, 222 of them will officially become officers. Her Royal Highness, the Countess of Wessex, arrives to represent Her Majesty the Queen. Her role is to inspect the new officers. She then congratulates them on their new achievement and passes on words of advice. When things get really tough, when you think you're hitting the bottom of your energy and reserves, and your soldiers are looking to you, you are a Sandhurst officer, and because of your training, you will have the ability and confidence to lead them through. Of the 222 cadets here today, there are 18 women and 28 overseas cadets from 21 countries. To speak to your Royal Highness, it was, and going up the steps, it's like, words cannot describe really. It was a very proud moment if, I'm trying to, if I try to describe it. She stopped by and she asked me where I was going, a few questions and if, whether I had visitors and um, it was really a pleasure to speak to your Royal Highness. Outstanding cadets are recognised over the year's military course. The Queen's Medal was awarded to Second Lieutenant James Ramsey. I received the Queen's Medal, which I'm very surprised and, and uh, grateful for, which is for practical military and academic studies. Uh, so I'm, I'm really, really quite proud to, to, to have it. Thank you very much. Cadet Asad Mushtaq from Pakistan was awarded the Overseas Sword. And Second Lieutenant Peter Gornell received the Sword of Honour. But with Army 2020 in full swing, passing out now isn't the same as it used to be. I know that you know, the regular army is shrinking slightly, but the, the reserves are sort of looking to increase to fill that gap. Um, there's lots on the horizons, so perhaps some small training teams um, deploying all over the world. So there's you know, lots of opportunities for me uh, as I start, so I'm really, really excited about that. The cadets perform a slow and quick march for Her Royal Highness before making their way up the old college steps. A symbolic moment where they become officers and start their new careers. And as the Countess of Wessex said, start a wonderful life of service and duty. Laura Hawkins, Forces News, the Royal Military Academy, Sandhurst.